Hello, Ryan Matt Borden here, aka Loopline. In this video, I'm going to cover how to scrape phone numbers from a list of URLs. Got a little rain going on in the background here. I love the rain, and uh, don't know if you can hear it, but um, let's jump right in. And so I pulled up a uh, hundred URLs from Google from real estate agents in Detroit, harvested those, and now they're here in my list. I'm going to go to grab check and grab phone numbers from harvested URL list. Now, I do have a full tutorial that goes in depth on this, but this is just to show you the basics here. So I can have the choice to save the URL with the phone number that I scrape, and I've got that selected. We'll see that in a moment. I'm going to hit start and let it run. Obviously, we can stop it. When we're done, we'll be able to click this show data folder, and it's going to give us the all the files that we have scraped. Now. We do have settings, of course, and configure masks. We'll talk about those here when it's done in just a moment, then of course close. Um, the settings aren't a whole lot. It lets you control the active number of threads, and we're down to just one thread here. And then the configuring of the masks, that's where you can train it on different phone number formats because there are literally hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of phone number formats across the world. So you can't put them all in there, otherwise you'll have too many false positives. So in configuring mask, it comes with three examples from the US that you can use to get started if you're scraping US phone numbers. And then you can easily, with regex, and it's simplified regex, and I'll show you that in a moment, add your own phone number masks in there, and then settings is pretty basic. We have connections and timeout. Now we can see we have a lot of phone numbers that were scraped there. Let's look at the show data folder and we'll see here we have our URLs with the pipe key and then all of the phone numbers that were scraped. If we didn't want the URLs, of course, we could have just left those off. And as far as how to add your own masks, it's very easy. We can go to scrapeboxfac.com and just type in the word phone number here, or just phone rather, hit search. And there's only one article that comes up, how to build a regex for phone number scraping. Very simple. And I just walk you through it with examples and everything for the different things. It's very, very easy. It does look a little complicated but if you literally will take three minutes and just read how to do this it's super easy super basic because they do all of the hard regex for you automatically all you really have to do is tell it a very basic phone number format and so that is how you can scrape phone numbers from a list of URLs if you don't have Scrapebox click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy and if you miss it it's in the video description down below Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.